In today's video, drivers in Los Angeles are mad as heck. They're red hot angry. If you've seen the movie Network, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Uber just recently cut the per mileage rate by 25%. In this video, I'm going to break out the details of this rate rebalancing that Uber made and stick around because at the end of the video, we're going to share with you an analysis that we did here at the Rideshare Guy comparing old rates to new rates for a 90 trip week. Cue the swoosh. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And uh, we are burning the midnight oil to get this story out and get this analysis out because we were curious. You know, the rate went down by 25%, the mileage rate, but the minute rate went up. And what did that mean in terms of like, what's the overall pay cut? We're gonna share that um, at the end of the video. But first, let's look at the announcement that uh, Uber sent out. So as you can see here, it says, uh, in September 2018, we increased the per minute rate minimum fare, hopes of making it more worthwhile to drive with Uber in LA. Didn't have the effect they wanted. As a result, starting today, we're further increasing the per minute rate and reducing the per mile rate and minimum fare. You can expect the average driver earnings in LA to be compatible with other drive share, ride share opportunities and pre-September average earnings. No, I don't think that's the case. Um, we're committed to improving your driver experience in LA, increasing rider demand, and making sure you have flexible ways to make money. So next we're gonna look at how did the drivers in Los Angeles like this rate rebalancing that Uber was doing to make everything better. So what happened is a bunch of drivers said, oh, screw you Uber, we're gonna go on strike and we're gonna see how many drivers we can get to go on strike. We actually as drivers do have some power in that there aren't enough drivers. Uber wants more drivers, Lyft wants more drivers, taxi companies want more drivers, and yet they keep making it more difficult to work for them. So it doesn't even make sense what they're all doing uh, because they need us to drive their cars. Autonomous vehicles aren't here yet. And, uh, you know, until that happens, they need drivers. So great for you, all of you out there in LA who went on strike and expressed your feelings. Next, we're going to look at this analysis that we did. So what I did is I took 90 trips that I took in uh, the first week of March and I compared the old rates, uh, the old LA rates to the new LA rates. So here's the spreadsheet that we created in order to get a good fix on what exactly is going on with this uh, rate rebalancing program. So here are the old rates in LA and here are the new rates. And as I scroll down, you'll see all the trips I took on March 4th, March 5th, March 6th, 7th and 8th. I took Sunday off. So that was that. And what we see down here, this is the key part right here, is that the uh, old rates were $666. So if we took those 90 trips and, and rated them with the old rates before March 11th, I would have earned $666. With the new rates, that drops down to $597. That's a difference of almost $70 in one week or 10%. So that means if I worked a full week and I made $2,000, I would make a full $200 less because of this new rate rebalancing program. So while we say rates were slashed 25%, that's only the per mile. When we incorporate the per minutes, that adjustment brings us to a 10% cut. Still significant and still a lot. It's not 25%, it's more like 10 to 15% depending on how many long rides you do versus short rides you do. That is still significant. If we asked everybody who worked for Uber, I hope you're listening, to take a 10% pay cut, just because, well, for no particular reason, we're gonna make up a reason. We're gonna say it's for your, your well-being. For your well-being, Uber employees, we're gonna cut it by 10%. That means instead of making 100,000 as a software engineer, you're only gonna make 90. I guess you're gonna to have to uh, skip that trip to, uh, let's see, to Lisbon and, and uh, Barcelona. Or maybe you'll have to take on another roommate so that you can reduce your rent. That's the impact that your little changes are making to people who are driving for your company in Los Angeles. So think about that. What will Lyft do? 
Well, if history tells us anything, it tells us that Lyft will probably do the same thing. They usually let Uber lead, take the hits, and then quietly make the same changes. The only time that hasn't happened was with the destination filters where Uber, God bless you, still has six destination filters, whereas Uber has two, and in some markets, none. So uh, let's hope that Uber sticks with us, the drivers here, and does not drop rates in LA or anywhere else in the United States. So in summary, this is not great news. This is not good news for drivers in LA, and it's not good for drivers anywhere. Anytime any of us take rate cuts, that's usually a sign of something coming, and that's not good. We don't like the trend going this way. We would rather the trend go this way, but that's not realistic. We just would be happy with the trend staying the way it is. But we are the drivers, and we are an expense, and Uber is going to cut, cut, cut as much as they can. And at some point, drivers are gonna quit. And when that happens, they're gonna have to raise the rates back up to attract more people to drive for them because without us the wait times are going to be longer and people are going to flock over to Lyft or they're going to go back to taxis so it can't keep going on like this the rates can't keep getting cut because people will quit and when people quit Uber has, has their service is diminished because they won't have enough drivers to meet the demand so hang in there LA drivers and uh, we're with you Everybody, if you have not subscribed to this channel, this is the Rideshare Guy YouTube channel, and you like this video, go ahead and like it, and be sure and subscribe, stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, tips, information, make you a better Rideshare driver. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Thanks for watching. You'll go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.